My name is Alan Zerfel, and today we're going to be learning the song Come On Everybody by Eddie Cochran. And this is a really simple and fun song. Uh, the most challenging thing about it is it has a pretty fast tempo, so it might take a little bit of time to be able to play it fast enough, but it is really, really fun. And as always, there's a link to the chord chart in the description, so if you want to print that off, be able to look at it and follow along. Um, and also there's a link to the original song if you want to try playing along with it after you get comfortable with the song. So uh, let's just dive right into this lesson. I'm going to teach you guys how to play this song using three chords, and those three chords will be E, A, and B7. So let's go over how to play each one of those in case they're new to you. So for the E chord, we'll start with our first finger on the first fret of the G string. Then we'll put our second finger on the second fret of the A string, and our third finger on the second fret of the D string. And I'll go over the strumming pattern here in just a little bit for this. Um, for now, just be aware that we'll play all the strings. Now let's move on to the A chord. For the A chord, we're going to use um, fingers 2, 3, and 4. So we'll put our second finger on the second fret of the D string. Then our third finger on the second fret of the G string. And then our fourth finger on the 2nd fret of the B string, and we'll go ahead and strum from the A string down. And the last chord is B7. Uh, this one can be a little tricky if you're not used to it, but I'll show you how to play it. So we'll start with our 1st finger on the 1st fret of the D string, then our 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the A string, our 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the G string, and then the fourth finger on the second fret of the E string. And we're going to play from the A string down here. And those are all the chords you need for the song. So if you're not familiar with those, you might pause the video here for a little bit, practice those chords, and then jump into the next part of the lesson. Now that you know how to play each one of these chords, let's go over the intro of this song. So at the very beginning of the song, you'll hear this uh, bass riff for four measures. So if you're playing along with the original recording, just let that bass riff go by for four measures, and then uh, you can come in with the strumming after that. Um, so we're going to start with the E chord, and our strumming pattern is going to be a little bit different than anything we've done so far. Instead of strumming all the strings at once, we're going to kind of alternate between a bass note and then strumming the rest of the strings in the chord. So starting with the E chord, we're going to pick the low E string, and then strum from the A string down. And we'll play this E chord for one measure. We'll go. Then we're going to switch to an A chord, and we're going to do a pretty similar pattern here. We'll pick the A string by itself, and then strum from the E string down for one measure. And then we're going to go to B7 and do a similar pattern. We'll pick the A string, then strum from the D string down. This one we only do for two beats, so just one pattern. We go. And we'll go to A and do the same picking pattern. And then we'll go back to E for one full measure. So let me go ahead and play that entire intro for you so you can hear what it sounds like, starting with the E chord. So you might pause the video here, practice that strumming pattern for a while until you feel like you have the hang of it, and then move on to the next section. For the verses of this song, we'll do a very similar pattern to the intro as far as the strumming goes. Um, we're just going to hold each one of these chords kind of a little different amounts than we did earlier. So for the verse, we're going to start with the E chord, and we're going to play that same pattern we did at the beginning, except we're going to play it for eight measures. 
So I won't play all of that, but just to give you an idea, you would go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, all the way until you get to eight. So that's how long you'll hold that E chord for. And then after that, we're going to go back and forth between A and B7 for one measure each. So we'll go A, one, two, three, four to B7 for one measure, A for one measure, B7 for one measure, and this last E chord we're just going to strum one time. And after you strum that last E chord, I go ahead and mute the strings, just like that. Um, and really, that's the entire song, uh, because each one of these parts just kind of repeats. Um, so you always do like the intro, the verse, and then it goes back to the intro again, then to the next verse. And at the very end of the song, um, you can just end on an E chord. You just strum it one time, and that'll be um, how it ends. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments uh, if there's any other songs that you guys want to learn. Or if there's anything uh, that you guys liked or didn't like about this video, anything that I can improve on in the future. Uh, so I hope you had fun learning this song, and I'll see you soon.